here's a perfect example of somebody who is absolutely insane that should not be on the internet. This guy, Darius Truxton, I, I've never heard of him in my life, but I've seen him commenting on Radical Rick's channel recently, which, by the way, I'm banned from because Radical Rick cannot take criticism. Looking at his video, today he made two videos about 8-Bit Eric, and if that's not sad, I don't know what else is. I'm not even a defender of 8-Bit Eric. In fact, I can't stand him. I think he's the worst part of Game Chasers, and I'm, I'm actually glad that he has not been on an episode in quite some time. But moving on, looking at his video, today he posted the truth about 8-Bit Eric, where he says 8-Bit Eric is wrongfully accused of fake subs and alt accounts. I explain why he's not, and it seems like he's defending 8-Bit Eric. I commented, I said, if you look at his monthly views, his channel is not dying. He hit almost 300,000 views last month and is usually between 100,000 to 200,000 views. Individual video count doesn't mean anything. It's all about watch time and monthly views. His backlog alone provides sufficient watch time and ad revenue. Looking at his stats, I can conclude all of this. That's not a dying channel. It might not be growing, but it's not dying either. So I, I thought, you know, that was a constructive enough of a comment, contributing to the discussion, being a part of the community that these guys always want. They, these guys preach fair discussion, and then when somebody shows up, what happens? Well, I'll show you what happens. Eric, I know who Keeb is. I am a longtime fan. Damn, come on. I'm trying to defend you in not even three hours. You are using a sock account. Unbelievable, Eric. So I find it hilarious that just because this guy recognizes that I'm using the word Keeb, the name Keeb, which was a nickname of Chad Mitchell, who was also on Game Chasers content, he accuses me of being 8-Bit Eric. So you're, you mean to tell me that I cannot be a fan of Game Chasers and Keeb the Joking Gamer? That just because my username uses the name Keeb in it, that I am automatically 8-Bit Eric? And then, of course, you have people chiming in. And I, I decided, here I am thinking you're more reasonable than Hippo Rick. A, a name that I saw... Gamesta, I believe. Gamesta made a video saying Rick is a hippo Rick or something about four weeks ago, I believe. I used the nickname because I, I enjoy that. Rick is a hippo Rick. Yet you jumped to conclusions worse than he did. I'm not a bitch, Eric. Then this guy goes, there you go. That's an Eric response. Holy shit, man. If you wouldn't have used Keeb, I would have maybe believed it. This guy probably smokes a little bit too much weed or, you know, to be that paranoid. I, I barely just made some conversation and thought maybe I could have a reasonable, fair discussion about how I feel, based on Social Blade, which is public knowledge, public stats, that 8-Bit Eric's channel is not dying, but it's certainly not growing either. Because let's be honest, other than the influx of subs he got off of that Mortal Kombat bullshit, his channel is pretty much stagnant. So then I say millions of people on the internet, and you think I'm some dumb YouTube gamer, laughing my ass off. This is hilarious. All because I use the name of a dead, fat midget. And I'd like to, I'd like to apologize. And say that I did not mean to use those words. But, I mean, get real. Just because I use a thing called Baron Von Keeb, I'm automatically Eric. There's millions of people on the internet. This is why a lot of people label Radical Rick's community as toxic. Because there's, there is no logic between these guys. All this riffraff that has absolutely nothing to do with me, which is pretty much insane. Let's check out his second video. Because can you believe... In less than two hours, this guy made another video about 8-Bit Eric. So first video was him defending him. The second one was him tearing 8-Bit Eric up. That is hilarious. That, if that, to me, screams somebody is just trying to get views. And, and watching the video, you could tell this guy, he basically recaps the conversation between me and himself. Nothing but pure clickbait here. This guy is easily trying to make a name off of a no-name, which I find hilarious. And I'm honestly surprised 8-Bit Eric has not chimed in on this conversation, considering that guy cries like a 16-year-old schoolgirl on his Twitter. So who, who even knows at this point? I just find it hilarious because the same thing happened on Radical Rick's channel. I made a comment, gave some feedback, some criticism, and Radical Rick couldn't take it. He blocked me, and he blocked several other people, which is ridiculous. These people need to get thicker skin. They, they claim that all these other e-beggars out there can't take criticism but look at the shit they pull look at the stuff these guys pull these guys are beyond delusional I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm speechless here I cannot believe what is going on on the YouTube side of things it's, after all guys it's just video games get over it